Hey everyone, uh, today I want to make a Christmas swipe. So I'm going to start with my colors. I'm using the yellow here and all colors have been prepared with paint and medium and a drop of dimethicone per color, including the white. Um, the medium I prepare with 50% primer and 50% water. Now, um, the way I did, diluted the paint was one part paint and one part medium, okay? Um, added was, uh, water was added as needed to achieve the right consistency, which you can see in the, in the video. Now, the second thing I wanted to point out is the order in which we, um, put the colors in the canvas. As you can see, I'm using white to kind of isolate the green. And in this line over here, I'm using yellow to the green because yellow is a primary color. And so I know that I'm not gonna get mud or I'm not gonna get uh, brown. Um, in my in my Christmas swipe all right so the other thing that I like to point out is I'm not going to use all the colors to cover the canvas in order to say paint I am going to just stop right here or maybe I'll do a few lines, I'm, I'm not sure, but I, I wanna, I'm very close to stopping, see? Now I'm going to use the red as a swiping color. This is gonna be my base. And uh, as you can see here, I am going to, I'm getting ready and I've cut a piece of, I don't know how you call this, maybe cardboard, but it's a little, larger, just a few centimeters larger than the canvas. And I'm going to put it at a 45 degree angle and I'm gonna do my swipe in red. Okay, so I'm ready and go. If this happens to you, you see the, the red paint just getting out in there, just let it, don't freak out. Just go back and re-swipe that area if you don't like it like I don't or you can just leave it in there if you if you like that red now I know what you're thinking oh Patty you already messed it up no worries see I am applying heat in here in order to activate the dimethic sorry dimethicon and you can already see the reaction that is forming in the first side of the swipe. I absolutely love these guys, absolutely love it. So now I am going to apply the rest of the red paint to cover the white sides in the canvas. And then uh, I'm gonna do the same thing in the other side because I want to cover um, my canvas completely in this color, in red. So, and I'm going to not only cover these um, white sides that I have, but also these sides of the canvas. And you'll see that when I'll show you the, the dry paint. Because it really doesn't matter how beautiful it looks while it's wet. What really matters is how it looks when it's all dried and finished, all right? So I'm gonna uh, finish this um, off camera and I'll be right back to show you the dry piece. All right guys, here we go. As you can see, the second swipe in the red just formed these beautiful, beautiful cells. See, the dimethicon. I absolutely love the effect created by the um, dimethicon, but you see we had to use the torch to activate it. In this section, I really love the cell walls dividing the cells in there. I mean, it really have all kinds of cell action 
in this and you can also see how the red enhances the rest of the colors makes them pop and it's a really in my opinion very nice base color all right guys thank you so much for uh joining me today in this project i absolutely love it and i'm gonna hang it in my wall and uh i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, until next time keep pouring <laughs>